G'day guys, and today, I mean g'day, because we are looking at what is probably Australia's greatest rock band, ACDC and Back in Black. Look, the groove is super simple, but there's lots of little things that go along with the riff that we're going to want to work out so that we can play the song exactly like they do. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so let's kick it off with the groove that you're going to be playing for pretty much the entire song, uh, and this is some classic ACDC stuff. You're going to have no problems with this at all. It goes like this. It's that simple, kick, snare, kick, snare. But I have to say, even though it is simple, there's a certain kind of skill that it takes to be able to really lay down that groove repetitively over and over again and make it feel good. So work on that and don't get too distracted and try and throw in too many of your own fills. Actually try and play the song. All right, there are some cool fills for us to look at, however, and they kind of go along with the riff. So the first one that we're gonna look at is the one that goes, ba don ba don ba don ba don Okay, so that's gonna go like this. Okay, so we're trying to get that open, open hi-hat, that kind of sizzle, but you could probably just leave your foot off. And that's still going to sound pretty good. Um, I'll play it for you once more. And sometimes he plays it two on the snare drum at the end, sometimes it's that extra hi-hat, and every now and again there's a little fill at the end. So the basis of that is kind of there, and if you want to add those extra flavors, use your ears and see if you can work them out. Then once again, we jump back into our beat, which is super easy, and then by the end of the chorus, when it's back in black, we have another little fill that kind of follows along with the lyrics there, and that sounds like this. Once more. And again, the first time he does play a flam there, but every now and again he changes it up. It's two flams sometimes, and it's two snare drums before that. So again, use your ears to try and get the extra bits, but that's the basic part that you're going to need. Then eventually we get up to the guitar solo. And in the guitar solo, there's one thing that we do every four bars. So I'll play the full four bars for you and see if you can picture the song in your head. So it's those crashes. Then, when we get to the next chorus, we kind of set up the lyrics. So that's going to sound like this, coming out of the guitar solo. Once more. So you can definitely hear that one in the song as well. Hopefully you'll be able to pick it out. Then we get to the end of the chorus and we do a similar thing to what we've been doing in all the other ones. Okay, so that's going into that up-tempo section. I've still written it in the same tempo that we've, uh, we've already been playing in, even though it feels like it's double speed. I'll play it for you once more. Coming out of that, there's a little fill. Cool, and then when we get to the end of that chorus, there's kind of that fake ending, um, where they kind of break for a little bit, and then it comes back in with yet another guitar solo. Fantastic. Uh, so anyway, that's this is how that breakdown bit is gonna go.
and then it fades out. So that should be enough to get you through the entire song. I know there are a lot of finicky bits, but hopefully you can really hear them because I think they stand out a lot in the music because they're really like intertwined with the riff and, and the whole, whole song really. Uh, so anyway, that's Back in Black by ACDC. I hope it's helpful as always. If you have any questions, pop them in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys at the next lesson.